Hey guys, and welcome to uh, Rare Route with me, Time and Tactics. This game is available on Steam during the SimFest, and the developer was nice enough to give me a copy to check out, so let's go ahead and do that. The game has some similarities with OpenTTD, for instance. It's a train game, obviously. It's a train management, train routing type of game where you add platforms, you build track, you discover new technologies, and you build up your train network. There are three types of maps, or three type, uh, types of game modes here, or three different game modes. The latest one is Rush Hour Maps, and that's the one where, well, as it says here, it's basically a tower defense style train management game. So you're gonna have to manage the map with an increasing number of trains showing up. Second mode is Endless Maps, and that's the one I'm gonna play here. That's where you start small, but not very much at all, and you build your way up, building track, laying routes, discover technologies, opening tunnels, things like that. Finally, we have the timetable map, and that is one that's more puzzly in nature, where you have a certain amount of time, like Daytona here, 17 minutes, and there are eight trains for you to manage. You don't build any new track, you don't add any new platforms, but you manage the trains you have. But it's good for a quick game, and you can uh, play that multiple times and try to increase your score and really optimize it. But for this game, this playthrough, uh, let's go ahead and try one of the endless maps. The difficult level is listed down here. I'm not going to go for Ludicrous. I'm going to go for Berlin. That's probably my level there, easy. There are 14 possible stations. We don't have access to those right away, but we can build there eventually. Let's go ahead and pick Berlin. Okay, so we're in the game, and right away the game starts going. Right now it's 8 o'clock in the morning, to be precise, two seconds past 8 o'clock. And we have a train incoming. You can see the symbol here. It's the commuter train 8941. If I select that, we can see it wants to arrive at Rügleben track number 3. It's this one over here. And then go over to Charlottenburg, track number 3. It's over here. And then go back to Rügleben, track number 2. Here. Well, that sounds reasonable. It's waiting right now to enter the station. We have to manually accept it to one of the platforms. We have only platform two and three. I'm gonna accept it, uh, but in the future, maybe we should find a technology that lets us do that automatically. That'd be a good thing. What you're looking at on the map, by the way, here is obviously the tracks. These are signals that will let you control portion of the map, of the track, and these are switches that you can flip back and forth. Okay, let's go ahead and accept that train. This is not the train, it's just a representation of what, I'm going to start it up now, of where it's going to go. Here's a train coming in. So it's going into Rulebin right now. Slowing down, actually. And once we get there, we're not there yet, we're going to stop, and it's going to stay at Rulebin between 8.01 and 8.02. Okay, stopping right now. That's good. Let's stop there. It's going to wait for one minute. And now Schlottenburg is flashing here. Now, we're going to get over there. We have to switch, uh, change the switch here, and then change this switch here. And then I think we're good to go. Except we have to activate this signal to say it's green all the way to the next track over there, next platform. So now we're good to go for this one. When we get there, though, we have to keep in mind that it wants to go back to Rulebin track number two, which is this one. So it's not the same track. If we select Rulebin itself, like I have here, we can also see what's going on there over time. This is the train we have right now. At 8.10, this purple one comes in. Freight train 5561, going from Rulebin, but going up to Gesundbrunnen here instead. There's also another train there. And that's the train we're looking at here coming back at 8.10. Hopefully it won't be a problem. I don't think it will be. So it's 8.01 now. Let's see if we select that again. 32 seconds, we can speed it up. So here we go, now it's gonna start up. There we go, and everything is green. We should be good. Let's not mess this up. Right now, we're sitting with 20,000 credits on hand, and we have no regular experience and no advanced experience. And we need that later on to be able to improve our tech. And we can see here with this arrow that is right over there that we're traveling in this direction, the light here, headlight too. When we go back, we have to make sure we tell it to reverse. Okay, we're coming into the platform number three there. 
They're going to stay there between 806 and 807. And we know in 11 we have another freight train come in, but not a problem so far. So I'm going to go ahead and slow it down here. Once we get into the platform, we're going to have time. It's going to stay there for a minute. It's going to come in here and slow down. Now, this track is available. I want to make sure I select this switch. I'm going to go back to uh, track number two. Let's do that there, like that. Okay, it's slowing down now. And it is now still. But we need to make sure before it starts going again that we switch it. You can either cl uh, click on reverse or right click on the train itself. And now we're switching different direction. So we're picking up passengers. 8.05 right now. We're going to stay here till 8.07, a minute and 12. So we can speed that up. There, now we're going to take off. I have to activate this signal till I almost forgot. Now we should be okay here. We're getting close though to the freight train coming in and passing at 8.11. It's not going to wait. It's going to be um, just taking off, coming in from platform number three, going straight up here. Maybe, because uh, we have to make sure this segment here is available. All right, so we can actually speed it up a little bit. And we said 8.11, that means at 8.10 we have to accept the next train. All right, we made it there. That's good. And there it is. Our freight train, we're going to accept it on platform number three. And it's not going to wait, so I'm going to make sure right away we activate this here. Yep, you can go all the way up there for the freight train, 5561. In the meantime, this is going to slow down and we're going to get our reward. What is our reward? 2,000 here. Once we complete that and one regular experience. It's going to wait a minute and 30 seconds and then we're going to get that. It has to complete the whole thing. Now, looking at our contracts that we currently have, we can clear those out. You can see everything here leaves from Ruleben. The next one is due at 8.20 from uh, Ruleben. Going to Lottenburg, Ruleben. Okay, that's fine. All giving us 2,000. That's not necessarily the norm, but the ones you have at the beginning of the game, that's what you get. So our freight train is good. We're going to head on up there. What do we get for this one? Also 2,000 and one experience. Okay, that's fine. Right now, there is a couple of different options here. You can see they give you a different amount of money. This one goes from Rüleben to Berlin, Hauptbahnhof, and then back to Gesundbrunnen up here. We can't do that one. I don't think so. We're going to say decline on that one, I think, maybe. Yep. You can only have three to start off with. Later on, you can have more uh, contracts waiting. You can keep them there. Uh, I don't think there's a limit how long you can keep them, and then bring them in when you need them. And you may want to time it till you have enough uh, track available. So uh, we're staying here for another 24 seconds. And now we should see our money, I hope, go up to 22,000. If we did a good job. One second. There, 2,000 and one green train. So one experience points here. And that is helpful because here is our tech tree. We're looking at contracts, there's automation, controls, interface as well. And there's more to it. So there's a lot of things we can do to upgrade, but we'll do that later. We need at least five for the cheapest thing. So it's leaving now. What do we have coming up here, Ruleben? Uh, at 820, we have another train coming in. Okay, that's good. This one is heading up. So we could theoretically just play with these trains that we have now, but that's not going to give us enough. We're never going to get the advanced experience, for instance. It's going to take a very long time as well. So we should look at our contracts. Do we have anything interesting here? From Gesundbrunnen, to Charlottenburg, that's from here to here and then back. Now that's interesting, isn't it? We don't have anything like that, I think. If you look at our existing contracts here, they go to Charlottenburg from Rüleben and then back to Rüleben or just Rüleben to Gesundbrunnen. This one here goes from Gesundbrunnen. That's the only one that would do that. But it'd be tricky though with one track. I don't know if we'd make it very easily. I mean, I, I might mess up here, so we'll see how it goes. I think I'm going to accept it, though. The next uh, train coming in is at 820. What if we accept this tra that, this one here for 5,000? It wants a speed of 72. Yeah, I think I might want to accept that, but as soon as this one has it left, we'll accept it. We'll be well before 820. But how do we get it down there? 
we need to have another track, I think. I don't want to go down this way and then back there, right? It wants to go between the two. Gesundbrunnen, Schlottenburg, Gesundbrunnen. Yeah, what we can do is we can build a track, but this is red. We can't build that yet. We have to wait till that train is out of the way. There we go. Now, let's build. So, um, we can lay down track. As you can see, there's more things to unlock. If What if we do something like that? I spent 3,200. This now means we have, we can switch that, they can go back and forth. But we probably need some kind of, some kind of um, signal to be able to block trains, right? Maybe put one here. So when they come in this direction, they can stop here and not block this one here. Maybe we'll do that. Hmm. I honestly don't know what's best here, but let's go ahead and take a manual signal for 2000, put it there, and then we can flip it around because this way it will stop trains coming from this direction. So if we have it like this and we activate that, it won't go there and we'll stop here, not blocking anybody else. That might be the best. What we want to do though is not just go this way, we're coming from this direction too. So maybe we'll buy another one. It's going to be expensive. We'll take another signal and put it there. So when we come from this direction, we can stop a train here. And that might be enough for that uh, train we have uh, that I want to get. Anyway, let's go ahead and start up and see if he can leave here. And once it turns white, let's go ahead and accept it. As soon as that happens, I'm going to pause it and accept that. There. Now, upcoming is at 821. We have plenty of time, I think. Let's go ahead and accept this one. It's 5,000. There's another one for 6,000 now. We take this one instead, right? I don't want to take both of them. We'll leave this one. So commuter 111. Yeah, we'll take that. Accept that. There it is. It's coming in. It's immediately available. We'll take it. You can pick which platform, and that's where it, when it's going to go at. This is a, the first run it does is a train, a test run. So if you pick a certain platform, it will always go there. In this case, easy. I want to have, you know, one platform at each station. But I'm going to pick three. It's going to come in now. And I have to keep in mind, we have another one coming in here in Rulebin. Here, this one at 820, we can accept it. Okay, it's plenty of time so far. It's going to come in. It's going to wait one minute and then go. So if I activate that switch, I think that's okay. It goes down here and waits if nothing else happens. Let's do that. So 141, it's going to wait for that long. There, it's going to start up now and go this way. 817, we're still good here, I think, with the train that's coming in at Rilleben. This one on at Gesundbrunnen 3 here. Okay, I think I'm good. I think we can do it. So we're going to come down here. 820, let's keep that in mind. So coming down here, I'm going to activate this one then too. Now we're going down there. Let's not forget to reverse it when it gets there. 820, we can accept the next one. So now we're coming down to the wire here, but we can still accept it, I think. There. There is the next commuter train, commuter 8471. On to platform number three. Yeah. We'll do it. It's going to wait for a minute. I think it's going to be fine. Here, we can now say, well, let's have it go to the platform there. Coming into the platform there. Good. Wait. Uh, is this one? Nope, still going. I'm going to wait till it stops. Now reverse. Right click. It's reversed. And we're going to tell it that you're free to go back up there. And we should beat the other train coming out of here, I think, right? If we activate that there, hmm, how do we do this? This one has 1 minute 27 seconds. This one has 1 minute 27 seconds. If I activate this one here, it's going to be, there's no nothing to stop. I have to almost, I think I almost have to put another signal here. This is probably not the best. We might want to get another track, but if I put it here, there. Now, if I activate this one, it's going to go there and stop. And while that's happening, this one's going to pass by, and we're going to be fine. But let's see if that works. Minute 27. Next one is a freight train coming in from Rilebin 3 to Gesundbrunnen 3. Okay, we should be able to make that too. 
Okay, so now, remember, that's just a test run. The better we do this test run, the more money we get, up to 6,000. Okay, so this one here, 55 seconds. I think they're identical time-wise here. So five seconds to go here. Let's see. We should make it. I think we should make it, <laughs> but it's going to be close. Okay, both going to start up now. Okay, this one started a little bit before the other one. That's good. I like that. Okay, let's go. All right, they're coming in. He's claiming that. And we want to... Don't want it to get all the way here. They're going to slow down at the signal. So before they get there, we should open it up. But we have to obviously wait for this one. Next one is at 8.30. should be fine. Am I going to make it here? Yes, I will activate that for sure. And once it goes past this point, then we can go. Maybe this was an ill-timed one. A little bit too close. There. Now we can activate this one. There. Click the switch. There is other type. There are other types of switches or um, signals as well. They're auto. I think they are called auto switches that you can, um, instead of having to manually click on everything, you can select one switch and then it will open up the path all the way to your destination, which would be much better. Anyway, we're coming into the two stations. This one's going to head back. This one's going to head back. They're going to be racing all the time here. If I'm not careful, it's not perfectly timely. We should have more room in between them. Now, I wanted this one to go back first, I think, here. What's going to happen? It's going to come in here, and we're going to claim this all this whole way. And it's going to be locked from there. That's not ideal, right? We'll put another, yeah, it's expensive, put another signal. Maybe once we pass that signal, um, I could put it here. Once we pass here, this opens up as well. Is that good? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, they're waiting there. So we got to flip them the other direction, the direction there. And we can tell it, you are free to go there, and you are free to go here. And let's see, this one here, in 1 minute and 15, 1 minute and 14. Yeah, again, it's going to be tight. And then at 8.30, remember that? We have next one coming in. We have two experience points right now, but hopefully we get two more. The minimum you need to unlock a new tech is five. Oh, there we go. Contact conditions completed. Oh, we got back. What was I thinking? We didn't go back again. We were actually able to go from our destination, from our origination to the destination and back again. And we did complete it. Everything was fine. So we got, um, what did we get out of that? We could get 60,000 or 6,000. We got 50%, well, 3,100. Okay, we'll take it. So in fact, this one shouldn't go this way. I messed that up. I shouldn't have switched it, but it's fine. We have to go back out there again. Once we switch it, once it comes down here, we reverse it and go back up there. I think 8.30, we have the freight train. Yeah, let's see what happens. It's going to come in here. This doesn't really matter now. That's an extra train. We'll activate that. Wait. No, it's going to go in here, right? Yep. There. Now, we'll tell it to reverse. There, go back up there. At 8.30, we can accept the freight train. That's going to work out at least. Oh boy, this was... Uh, nothing really happened. Now, there he is. That's the freight train, and that's not going to wait. Put you in there. Flip this. And we cannot activate it yet. Oh, wait. Because it's going to come here, and we're going to... If I take this one, it's going to close it down. Well, it would work. It looks like the switch will stop it. Yeah, it's fine, I think. We'll see how, what happens there. Okay, this one's going to come in. We have three now uh, experience points. That's looking good. He's coming in here. This one's going to go ahead and leave, I hope, right away. It already waited, so he doesn't have to do anything. Oh, did we lose a little bit there? I didn't see what we got. We have 15,400. But he's done. He's done now. That's good. There, he's going to exit. And then we have this train. He's going to be able to go all the way up there, I think. He's going to claim this. I think it's fine. We'll see. I don't know if it was fine. It was open there. You know, we wanted the whole thing to be green. It wasn't. So maybe we'll get a, a little bit of a modifier there. What do we have in Relabin? Nothing till 840. Let's see. That's that uh, freighter coming in. 
It wasn't green, so he claimed it. Now we got 2,000. That's good. So now we have five points. That means we can actually get something here from the from our tech tree here. So we have, we have contracts, automation, controls, and interface. And they, they keep going here. So there's a lot there. Minimum is five. Now, I'm thinking about we can get something like um, automation, auto accept trains, auto accept toggle. Let's take this one. That means we don't have to go and select the platform that we're going to go on. They're going to pick the platform they want to go on automatically. And that's going to save us quite a bit, I think. Once you have enough trains, we'll pick that one. Upgrade. Okay. And there it is. We have used up five points. Okay. Next one up is at 840. Now, in the meantime, let's look at the, the contracts. So we have this one here. That's our best contract. One out of five means we have to complete five runs of it before we can actually close it and cancel it. Okay, I had to close the window. Too many dogs out there. Okay, so now we're waiting for 8.35. It's nothing until 8.40. Okay, so that's looking good so far. What did we say here? Um, 9.15 is the one there, yeah. Okay, so 8.40. It's going to come up here. And it's going to go from Rüleben to Schlottenburg and then back to Rüleben. So we know we need to go... Yep, this way. And it's going to go all the way around. And because I have all these signals, I have to select all of them to activate it. It can get a bit of a chore. The auto signal would be nice to get, I think. Let's go ahead and continue with that. And then we have the next one coming up there. Now, if we look at our contracts that are available here, we could... Here's another one. Rüleben, Bisselstrasse to Rüleben again. That would be... Where's that at? I thought I saw... That's this one here. We could potentially buy this one. 19,000. It's possible. It's possible. So to do that, we would have to go to the purchase screen. 1,500. We could do that. That's fine. What if we take station number one? I'm going to try it. And you can always try in this game because you can sell them back. Uh, the track, at least. I think... Can you sell these back as well? I don't know if you can. Um, I don't think you can sell the actual platform, but you can sell the track back. Next one will cost us 2000 there. Let's go ahead now and put a track down. I'm going to put a track down now. This is going to be super busy here, right? But let's do that anyway. Track is something you can play around with. If I go here... Okay, and then there. What does that give us? It gives us an awful big problem right here, potentially, right? What we could do maybe, if I select the track again, what if we put... This looks crazy, doesn't it? Because then we could have them go this way or that way. But then we have to get a platform or a signal. Let me see. This is going to be this is going to be crazy here. If we put it there, we can stop there and then can go up there. We can flip it. It's going to be insane. But let's go and do this and see what happens. So we have business to us over here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and accept. We're going here. This one business to us or Rüleben. We want to wait a little bit, right? We want to wait till this one is over there somewhere. Or maybe we want to... Now we want to wait till it's over here, I think, in this area. And then we'll accept it. Next one up is at 850. Should be fine. Yeah. So we're coming in there. Now the platform is open. Because it passes the this uh, signal. Accept that one. And we'll accept it onto platform number, I think, three. There, it's coming in. I'm going to go all the way up there to platform number one. Okay, we can do it. I, I know I can do it. So we're going to come around here. I'm not going to open it up yet because I need to flip the switch there. It's going to wait there a minute anyway, so that's fine. That should be good. Let me go ahead and switch it there. And now it can go to this point. And then there. That's good. I think I need another one here, don't I? Maybe. We'll see what happens. Okay, it's ready to go. At 8.50 we have another one, but that should be fine. Coming in with the commuter train 7691.
Let's not forget to reverse it. Uh, reverse it. We can do it automatically later when we have more experience, but not yet. This one should go in 26 seconds. Yep, that's good. That's coming into the platform. Let's remember to reverse it. There, it's reversed. And when this is passed here, we can go ahead and tell it. Well, we can go ahead and tell it right now. There, go up there. We need to make sure that this is as fast as possible. There, something like that. <clears throat> should be fine. Now we should be good. All the way home there. Yep. 850. This one here wants to go back to Ruleben as well. We should be fine. We should be fine, I think, right? Mm. We need a signal. We need a signal here. I think, because we can hit that freight train coming in here. Yeah, I think we knew. Let's, let's go ahead and buy that signal. Manual signal. Put it... Oh, it's occupied. Yeah, we have to wait. Once it gets in there, let's make sure we do it before we do anything else. Coming in here, 8.50, we get that freight train coming in. Yep. It's not time. It's going to be just enough time there. Okay, now we can build that. Uh, let's go ahead and build the signal and put it there. And we'll flip it. There, now we can go and always stop there if nothing else, right? Okay, this one here, as soon as it's at zero speed, let's go ahead and tell it to reverse. Right click. There we go. And then it can go as soon as it's ready all the way to this point. Why not, right? Coming home to platform number two. Let's see. Uh, we should be fine. At 50, or at 8.50, we'll get that next one. Oh, there, it came in. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was going to accept it. We don't have to. So now I have to go this way. I could go this way as well, I guess. And then we go up there. Okay, let's go ahead and activate that. Now, which is one is going to get there first? <laughs> That's the thing. It's going to go automatically here, so it's going to be this one. So we're going to activate that and let it go out and leave. Yep, good. That should do it. And then the commuter train 9080 here is going to come down. This is just our trial run anyway, so we'll see what happens here. It's going to go back to Ruleben. Okay, it's coming up. This one's going to leave. Nothing to worry about there. This one is pointing in the right direction. Okay, that's good. It's coming out. Okay, see here, chasing down. Now, we're doing our trial run. It's going to be slowing down here if I don't open this up before it goes past. And we can probably do that when we get past this point. And we need to open this. Um, yeah, we're going to go back to platform number two, I think. We can decide. On trial run, you can do decide yourself. So now we can open it here. If I do that, it goes down there. Yep, there, we made it. Excellent. So once this gets back here, we'll see how much we got, how much we got from that. The next one coming in it would be at 9 o'clock. There we go. That's looking good. That's looking quite good. Okay, it's going to leave. 2,000. Thank you. That's two. And we have 6,700 now. Okay, back to Relevant. And let's see what we get out of this. We're coming in. We're going to wait for one minute. Well, a minute and a half. And then we'll see what we get out of that. There. Contract conditions. We did complete it successfully. 58%. That's not bad. Repeat every 60 minutes. 1,800 out of 3,000. But still pretty good. And then if we miss here, delay. If we delayed 700, reduction out of 1,800. And wrong platform, 800 credits. We'll accept that. Okay, and it's going to leave. And now we're just waiting for the next train to show up here at Relabin, and we can see our contracts there. And that is the basic gist of the game. I didn't show you too many of these things, but as you can see, there is quite a few to pick from. The game is in early access, so there's going to be more, I'm sure of it. But uh, yeah, that's the basic gist of the game, and I will be back later with more games for my channel. I'll see you then. Bye, guys.